Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this episode we will talk about racism and I decided to tackle this topic because it's something which is personal and I usually don't talk about it and most of the time I just brush it off and I feel like yeah, people are not racist. I try to see things from a very positive perspective and not to think about things much and when people behave in a funny way I don't breathe into it much but uh, the more I read about what racism really is and that it's not necessarily saying something or visibly behaving in a certain way it's also something which is very hidden and it is in the back of our minds it's also something which is systematic and at the end you feel that you're treated differently and it doesn't really need to be explicit. I realized that I did experience racism a lot, especially when I was growing up in the Czech Republic and every time I go back to see my parents, there are always some occasions or people make comments that the thing is they don't even realize that it's racist. And it's the thing that people don't have this sensitivity to even consider that what they're saying and how they're behaving is inappropriate. And if you call them out, it's like, you're too sensitive. Or why does everything have to be about race? Why do you need to talk about this? Why do you call everyone racist, etc., etc.? People just brush it off and they make you feel oversensitive and that there's something wrong with you. And if you're so sensitive, then where's your sense of humor? And I think this is this insensitivity that's helping racism to, to prevail. My biological father is from Africa, from Guinea Conakry, and my mom is Czech. So when I was growing up, there were really literally no mixed people in my neighborhood and there was only one friend of my mom who had a daughter. Her biological father was Ethiopian, so she was also mixed like me. And it was the only person that I knew, but otherwise everyone was white. And uh, it's not that people would tell you that there's something wrong with you, but it was the way how they made you feel. And I think the best example is that I felt like an animal in a zoo. You know, when you go to the zoo, you want to see like these exotic animals, like let's say a zebra or a giraffe. And then if you can, you would like to touch them because it's like something totally like different. And sometimes you would even call it weird and like, eh, it's like, yeah, that's something like totally like not normal. So that's exactly how I felt like a giraffe because People would like to touch my hair and they would like to like compare their skin tones and they would like to comment on my teeth like how white they were and when I used to wear extensions they were like oh my god let me see how it looks and so I'm like like seriously don't touch my hair and people didn't respect that it's like it was not your body it was someone else's property and if they wanted to touch it they would just touch it and wonder how it looks because it's just weird it's different and I think for me the racism that I experienced was more about this inherent feeling of me being different and being weird and not being normal. And I'm not saying that every Czech person is racist, but overall it is very hidden and people don't realize it. And why I'm saying it is that even when my daughter was born, my cousins were telling me that they were impressed how white my daughter was. That is incredible, no? Because like your mix and your husband is not white as well. His father is Swiss and his mom is from Costa Rica and his mom is white. Like she's like really white. So, but for Czech people, he is not white because he is mixed like for them. It's like Latin. So you see how whiteness is seen by some people of my generation in the Czech Republic. So this is my family. So, so that was the thing that I felt like, that's really rude and you're even telling me that? I can't even imagine now that they were saying that, like seriously. 
when I was growing up in the Czech Republic, one of the biggest problems that I had was that I never felt attractive. And I mean, it is important for a woman when you are growing up to feel accepted, to feel pretty. And I don't mean it in a way of being vain, but in a way of feeling you are normal. You are totally fine. There is nothing wrong with you. But if nobody likes you, if people always treat you as if, mm, I don't know, she's just different. I don't like her hair and I don't want to be friends with her because she's black and all these things. How do you feel? You will never feel accepted, not to mention beautiful, which is very difficult even for a girl who is growing up in a country where 90% of people have the same skin color. So this is, this is something that I think also shaped my life a lot, the feeling of not being enough because I was different, because I looked different and whatever I did, I was always different. And even, I think even if you feel yourself that you are good, that there is nothing wrong with you, there are always people who will like to put you down by saying, yeah, but you know, your nose is small or your lips are like this. And another thing that I noticed is that people even told me, oh, you like it because you're not dark enough. Your lips are not so big. You know, they're not, they don't look so African. And your nose doesn't look too African. So in a way, it's good for you because people will think that you're from Brazil or something like that. But God forbid that they would think that you're black. It's like, it's like, really? wrong if you're black you know it's uh, just pray that nobody thinks that your father was black what was funny also when i started working in the organization where i work now where there are people from all around the world and i started to be friends with people who were also from africa and from the states what I heard oftentimes was that, yeah, but you know, you don't know what is uh, racism because you're not black. And it was a thing that I was like, mm, that's really weird because I am black. But no, you're not. Because since you're mixed, you're not really like black. Because you don't suffer as much as we do because you look more European. So... If you're not as black, actually you have nothing to do with us and you cannot talk about racism and you cannot talk about inequality and you cannot talk about blah 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 because you're not really too dark. And it's a thing that I find like, again, totally... Can I say stupid? So you're not good enough for white people and you're not good enough for black people and you're somewhere in the middle and like nobody wants to be friends with you because you don't belong. And I think this is something that a lot of kids who are mixed must feel because you feel like you don't belong and nobody can understand you. It's the same thing like when I say that Czech people are racist, they'll say, no, Czech people are not racist, but you're talking with white Czech people who don't understand what you mean by being racist because they say, oh, I don't, I don't mind black people. I have nothing against them. I think black is beautiful. I think black men are really beautiful and they are, how to say that so that they will not block this video, but they are, the men are well developed. Like this, this is a thing that like, I can tell you like really people say and I find this is really so offensive to say that about black men, just how is this connected? Like, I really don't know who came with this idea. So anyway, so black men are well developed. And so I have nothing against black men. But if you run at night in a park and there is a black man running behind you, you will, you will be nervous. But if it's a white man, it's like, okay, no problem. But you're not racist, like, I'm not racist. Since I was growing up in a white country where all my friends were white, my family is white, and I was like the black sheep of the family, and I mean like literally, yeah, black sheep of the family, and realized that I also grew up as a racist, and I 
was very racist because since I heard all the time all these ideas and thoughts about people of color because somehow people didn't see me as a person of color which is so funny when I became friends with some people they stopped seeing the color so they would be like totally no filter saying things which honestly were extremely offensive but they just didn't realize what they were saying and that that's because for them like somehow you were like colorless now since you feel always weird when someone accepts you and they say negative things about other people of color you don't want to have anything to do with people of color you will be like really even more racist because you don't want to be judged or to be measured by the same ideals because if they say these things about black people and you're going to be friends with black people maybe these people will wake up and realize that you're black you yourself also need to first accept yourself and start loving yourself and start appreciating yourself and the way you look to your body that's another thing especially for women especially for women of color because not necessarily you will look like a Eurocentric ideal of beauty because first you're not white maybe you're not skinny maybe your hips are white and maybe you have just a different body structure and seriously that's that's fine but if most women around you look certain way and you look different then of course you will hate your body and that's why I think it's very important to also accept and celebrate the way you look as a non-white woman and that's not very promoted I think it's better now than when I was growing up because you can see women of all shapes on TV and in music videos and in the magazines it's much much better of course it's not perfect but it's much better than how many 30 years ago when I was growing up so my opinion about racism and that's what I wanted to say is that we all need to look in our hearts and in our minds and wonder whether we are racist and you may say I'm not racist but maybe you are what I wanted to say and what I wanted to transmit through this video is that just interrogate yourself just ask yourself these questions am I racist and if you are why where is this coming from watch yourself and listen to yourself because once you become aware of how you think and what ideas and thoughts are running through your mind you're much more likely to change it because if you're not aware you can't do anything but once you become aware you're much more likely to change the way you behave and also change yourself as a person question yourself question your thoughts and your behavior because even if you think that you're not racist you may be thank you so much see you again next week bye